Hello and welcome to Astroblurt. I'm Peter Thorndike and I'll be your guide to what the planets will be doing this week. It's not a week for the faint-hearted, with both Venus, the planet of love and desire, and Lilith, the dark-hearted seductress of the zodiac, conjunct in the ruthless, mesmeric sign of Scorpio, and Mars, planet of conflict, edging ever nearer to mighty Pluto, the god of sex and transformation. In profound, gritty Capricorn, there is friction and fireworks all around us. Mercifully, Jupiter, the bringer of happiness and good fortune, is still locked in an affectionate embrace with the sun in the harmonious sign of Libra. And this will help take the edge off all the sound and fury. But we need to take care since the pace is very much dictated by passion and intensity. For many of you, the earth will truly move in more ways than one. So lie back, spread your celestial wings, open wide your appetite for change, and allow Pluto and Mars to penetrate deeply into the soft, squelchy heart of your consciousness. Here we go. Aries, these are magical and magnetic times for you, Aries, with Uranus continuing to shine its scintillating spotlight full beam on your personality. This week it begins to form an opposition to both the Sun and Jupiter in Libra, a slow burning fuse which will explode later in the month. Whether the explosion will be upsetting or joyful depends on your approach to relationships right now. The best way to go is to curb that legendary temper of yours and focus on what is best for both of you, rather than concentrating on number one, Taurus. Well, Taurus, with both passionate Venus and femme fatale Lilith in Scorpio right now, you could well find yourself falling in love with a vampire or in lust with a werewolf. Yes, she may be smooth and seductive on the surface, but watch out she's not hairy underneath if you catch my drift. Mercury in practical Virgo and Mars in pragmatic Capricorn will be your allies in striving to keep your hooves rooted firmly in solid ground, but watch out that your notoriously susceptible Taurian heart doesn't cause you to get sucked into something squidgy and not in a good way. Gemini, Saturn is still plodding away through your opposite sign of Sagittarius which can, as you know all too well, make heavy going of everything, especially close relationships. Don't despair, because next week, Jupiter forms a very friendly bond with Mercury in your house of fun and flirtation. In the meantime, make the most of Mars and Pluto palpitating away in your eighth house, which rules sex, seduction, and dark secrets. Make sure, though, that if you go out for a night on the town, to lock those skeletons firmly away in their cupboards first. Cancer, with both mighty Pluto and feisty Mars blazing away in your house of relationships, this could mean that uh, lots of clashes, or it could mean lots of sex, with voluptuous Venus beginning its passionate penetration into Scorpio, it will probably mean lots and lots and lots of sex. And if Jupiter in Libra threatens to tip all this over into an excessive abyss, don't worry, if a go in Mercury is there to put your feet back on the ground the next morning. Leo, if you're not your usual fun-loving self at the moment, Leo, don't worry, Saturn isn't going to be in your house of romance forever. And in the meantime, you can truly take comfort from Jupiter in Libra and Uranus in Aries. This sparky combination means that if you take the time to look, you are surrounded by an abundance of golden opportunities. And should you be inclined to set foot outside your usual surroundings, there's adventure galore. Just be sure to pack the bandages in case you slip and fracture that famous Leo pride of yours. Virgo, you know sometimes how the more you look, the less you see? That's you right now, Virgo. Due to a retrograde Neptune sitting opposite your sign, the chances are thinking's muddled and associates could be deceptive at the moment. And you're frustrated that your usual Virgoan clarity is letting you down. Mercury in your own sign until the 8th gives you a lot of protection against all the above. Still, it's wise to double check everything and everyone. That's what the planets have in store for the first six signs of the zodiac. I'll be back a little later on to give you the lowdown on the remaining six. See you then.